Hello and welcome to my channel. This is your CCT Vandana Krishna here. Thanks for joining me today for yet another uh, Zentangle mini project where we'll be doing some string dance here. All right, so the supplies that I'm using for this is my O1 micron pen in black color, a pencil, my shading stump, and my square zentangle tile here. All right. So for the string dance, let us begin by creating a string waltzing around on the tile here. So to do that with your pencil, first start by making these nice little dots here in the corner and then joining them freehand to create my border here. All right. So after you have this down, next we are going to create a string, kind of like a, a loopy little string here, dividing our tile. So I'll just start somewhere on this borderline and just slowly waltz inside that to create this nice little loop here and then another one just like a kind of curvy wave here so this is my string for today's centangle tile here all right so once you have the string down next we are going to start tangling by using our pen here. So the first pattern that we are going to do today is called as Echoism by Zentangle. So you can watch here for a minute on how the pattern goes. So I'll be doing the pattern in this area and in this area here. All right. So it starts with this nice little a loopy line so going something like this you're going to loop it in the edge come down and again loop it here then again loop it here so whatever space that you have you're just going to loop the lines within that space here so I'm going to do the same thing in this area here all right, I'm going to start somewhere over here and start looping my lines, something like this. So the loops uh, will not touch each other. So there is a slight little gap between the loops. So this pattern, echoism, it just means that you're echoing this loop, looped lines here with whatever space you have. Like say now this goes wider here compared to this. So I'm just looping this line going all the way up and again looping it out there. And just filling up the entire area with whatever space that I have. Something like this all right so once you have these loops down the next step is these areas between the loops that are there we are just going to go ahead and create lines just mimicking whatever shape that is there we are just going to create multiple lines like this filling up the area in between these loops here so just slowly take your time and go ahead and fill up those areas doesn't matter what uh, shape they are in whatever it is just follow along the same shape and fill up the area with lines so just like this 
remember you can keep turning your dial All right, so now that I have this area uh, filled up with lines in between those loops here, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. So whatever space that you have, just go ahead and fill it up with lines or aura. So just slowly take your time go at your own pace you need not hurry to match my pace here you can always pause the video if I'm going too fast so just take your time and fill up this entire space with these lines so I will go ahead and do the same thing at my own pace and I shall meet you back here in a minute. All right, so I have uh, my echoism filled here in both these spaces. Now, in these areas that we have here, we are going to do our next pattern, which is kinis. All right, so this pattern starts with kind of these orbs here or circles don't worry if it's not a perfect circle just go ahead and make whatever space that you have a couple of huge ones a couple of medium sized orbs and in between the spaces you can just fill it up with tiny little orbs and you know ink it in so just start with a little bigger ones and then vary the sizes as you go along so just like this filling up the space here with orbs So I have this area of my tile filled here. So now what I'm going to do is in each of these orbs, I'm going to create kind of this curvy triangle here. So just like so. So starting anywhere on the orb, you can just go ahead and create this nice little curvy triangle shapes like this. So it can go in any direction. So whichever orb you feel there is space enough to create a curvy triangle, just go ahead and create them. So something like this so once you have them again inside this you can either add uh, lines or you can fill it up with you know uh, the same orbs here uh, nice little orbs or you can just go ahead and fill it up with whatever uh, 
you know pattern that you want inside these tiny little uh, triangles that are formed so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow one line of this triangle and just go ahead and fill up the area just like this so follow any one side and just make the same stroke filling in the triangles over here so it can be any side that you want to consider and then just follow the same stroke So whatever orbs that you have down, so just see wherever you can fit in even a tiny little triangle so you can do that, alright? So now that we have on this side filled up with the pattern kinis, let's go ahead and do the same thing on these spaces also. So let's start by creating a couple of orbs here. making some big some small just to create a little variation In between spaces, I'm just adding up tiny little orbs and filling it up. And once I have my orbs down there, I'm going to add a couple of them in this space too. Don't worry if your orbs or the circles that you make are not really exactly round, so it doesn't matter. All we are doing is just nice little orbs filling up the space. So the freehand orbs has kind of nice little character to it. So once you have all of your orbs down, you can go ahead and start by making those curvy little triangles like this. So what you're going to do is just start anywhere on the circle and make these kind of nice little curvy triangles here. So whichever orb you can fit in those little triangles, you can go ahead and make them.
So once I have all those curvy little uh, triangle shapes placed inside the orbs here. Now I'm going to consider one side of the triangle and go ahead and fill in the triangle with the lines following that side. So just take your time and slowly fill up all of these triangly little spaces that you have. Alright, so I have all of my triangles now filled in here. So now the tile is ready to add some shade. So with my pencil, what I'm going to do is for the pattern echoism here. So inside these areas that I have, I'm just going to add on one side kind of a little graphite here like this and here on this side and the same thing here on this pan where I go this way and that adding the graphite you can add it as dark or as light as you want so I like my shading a little bit darker here which you can add as light or as dark as you want so just go ahead and fill those areas inside the loops of cousin once you have them down, put my blending tool or the dotty on. I'm just going to smoothen that out like this. Just working in the graphite into the fibers of the paper. So you're not coloring the whole area with graphite. A little bit of white space adds a nice little highlight. Right. So for the pattern keenies, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow along the string line. You know, the string line that we kind of waltz around this border area. So I'm just going to follow along. And then I'm going to work the graphite, bringing it into the sections here.
so here I have my entangled tile with this nice little loopy string and then the patterns echoism and kimis. So now that we have completed our tile, let's go ahead and add our initials or our signature here and take time to appreciate what we have created. Right, so this is our tiny little Zentangle project for today. So I hope you enjoyed creating this uh, tile along with me. So thank you once again for joining me. And if you have enjoyed what you uh, you have created or what you uh, the tutorials that I put up here, please do show some um, love and you know subscribe to the channel, like like and comment uh, the video and share it with your friends so that you know everybody can benefit from zentangle all right so do remember to subscribe to the channel and i'll see you soon with the next uh, zentangle tutorial all right so share your works too all right bye